Hello and welcome to Inpishan News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnagar. The news in detail. The lockdown imposed has yielded a good response from the market on Wednesday. All shops and establishments downed their shutters at 1 p.m. as directed by the municipal authorities. Small traders, however, caused the coronavirus as their business is suffering again. Their hopes were rekindled after the lockdown conditions were relaxed a few days back. The business has started taking shape. However, fresh spurt of COVID-19 positive cases in Nagpur again demanded their spirit. Last year, when the lockdown was imposed in March, the cooler traders were in the tight corner. This year, too, their business is affected. Their imposition of fresh lockdown right in the beginning of summer. Even small shops, including tea stalls, small eateries, pan shops were closed at 1 p.m. Police and municipal officials ensured everything was closed. Patrolling vans were moving around to ensure closure of the market. Railways have decided to run special trains between Indoor Nagpur, Dr. Ambedkar, Nagar Nagpur and Poor Bandar Santragachi. First train Indoor Nagpur Weekly Superfast Special, which is fully reserved. 09213 Indoor Nagpur Weekly Superfast Special will be from Indoor at 20.25 hours on every Sunday with effect from 21st March 2021 till further advice and will arrive in Nagpur at 8.20 hours next day. The second train, Dr. Ambedkar Nagar Nagpur Weekly Super Fast Special, which will also be fully reserved. 09223 Dr. Ambedkar Nagar Nagpur Weekly Super Fast Special train will leave from Dr. Ambedkar Nagar at 25 hours on every Tuesday with effect from 23rd of March till further advice and will arrive in Nagpur at 8.20 am. Third train, Poor Bandar Santragachi Weekly Super Fast Special. 09093 Poor Bandar Santragachi Weekly Super Fast Special will leave from Poor Bandar at 9.05 hours on every Friday with effect from 16th April till further advice and will arrive in Santragachi at 6.20 hours next day. For details, information and horse, please visit inquiry.indianrail.gov.in. Police Commissioner of Mumbai, Parambir Singh, was replaced by Hemant Nagrale on Wednesday, nearly a year after he took charge of the official in the country's commercial capital, the 1988 batch IPS officer had taken over from IPS Sanjay Barwe on February 29, 2020. According to sources, Singh was shunted out following the row over Mumbai police officer Sachin Vaj's alleged involvement in placing an explosive laden vehicle near an industrialist resident in the city. Home Minister Anil Deshmukh made the announcement through a tweet on Wednesday. Vajay was on Sunday remanded to NIA custody till March 25th. Singh recently also made news as he spearheaded the probe in the TRP scam where households were apparently asked to keep channel switch on the entire day. At least five news and entertainment channels were found allegedly involved in rigging the TRP to attract more advertisements. 3,370 new corona positive cases have been reported in the last 24 hours in Nagpur district. 16 deaths occurred on Wednesday, which is one of the highest daily death toll in this week. The number of cured patients is in the vicinity of 1,50,000 and most of these patients have recovered during home isolation and treatment. 15,000 COVID-19 tests took place on Wednesday. The district's recovery rate is around 87%. The ongoing vaccination drive in various parts of the city aimed at vaccination of senior citizens and frontline workers is an effort to bring the number of cases down. So as is the week, long strict lockdown currently underway. The district administration has called upon citizens to help administration in controlling the pandemic by adhering to preventive measures such as wearing masks and maintaining social distancing. And with the gloomy outlook owing to the raging pandemic, there is something to cheer for North Koreans as Municipal Commissioner Radhakrishnan B has not proposed any new taxes for next year. The old tax structure is retained to provide some relief to citizens impacted by prevailing COVID-19 pandemic. Yet for citizens, there is not much to be happy about as budgetary outlay is modest Rs. 2607.60 crore, indicating development work will remain stagnant. The turmoil due to pandemic continues to haunt NMC, as Municipal Commissioner said. Unless a new stream of revenues are found, only most essential nature of works would be taken up. Radha Krishnan B presented the budget to Prakash Boyer, Chairperson, Standing Committee on Wednesday. A meeting of Standing Committee was held at a civic headquarters in Civil Lines. Similarly, in the revised budget for year 2020-21, 
municipal commissioner has lowered the revenue. Envision is now coming up with crime files which is scheduled on 28th March at 8 p.m. Well, that's all from this bulletin for more updates in and around the city. Stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself. Keep watching NBC News. Sachi Dikai, Bina Chupai.